Hi everybody. So now we're going to be reviewing. I have these two to review. This is going to be in the next one. So over there you go, chaos. Oh gosh, my ugly face. Sorry y'all. Can't find my tripod anywhere. Nope. Uh, that would have been nice. If you watch my first first Blophosaurus video, I actually made this Blophosaurus Venom. Let me get the freaking thing open real quick. My hands are dirty. I'm sorry, y'all. So basically, it's Crazy Aaron Thinking Putty. Half, one part, uh, or half, black, and the other half is Super Oil Slick. Mix that together, and it kind of looks like the, t the little Venom piece. Now we're going to be reviewing Kenji and Monolophosaurus. Here's the barcode on the box. Here's the other one. Now I already have a Kenji figure. I'm not going to. I am not going to review Kenji very much, but I will do something with the Monolophosaurus. That's the whole reason why I got the Monolophosaurus. It's because I wanted the Mono. All right, put that there. All right, box over there. Here's Kenji. All right, now I do think they should have used a Segway instead of a little scooter. Now the scooter's got a little peg right there. So what you gotta do is you gotta put Kenji's little foot on the peg. You can kinda get him to ride the scooter. And it actually stands up, too, pretty well, depending on the surface you're using. Hold on. Now, I'm not going to really do much with the, with the Kenji, but I, I'm sorry, y'all. I really, I can't get this, but you kind of, if you get a little bit of poster tack, it'll, it'll stand up. So th this review is kind of going to be a little shorter than my usual ones, because we're only going over a little figure. This is the new Monolophosaurus. Now there's not much to it. Now mine does have a little bit of missing paint on the teeth. Big bummer, but no big deal. This is a re-sculpt of the other ones. I'm going to get the other ones real quick, but first let's go, show up, go over the scan code, because I know you all are going to want that, even though... You already have it. Because I know there's people out there and I'm one of them. So, there's scan code. Maybe. Yeah, that's the best I can do for y'all. Crud. Alright, this model of Asaurus is 100% all posable. There's, the only new piece is probably the head and maybe the neck. Because the neck looks a little bit skinnier. Now the jaw is posable. It can, it's got really weird te upper teeth. The entire head is painted with like a blackish color. And it's got like a, a, a khaki color down around the face. I am so sorry y'all. It is blurry. It's not focusing. It stops right there ju just before the waist. Uh, the, the neck is on like a ball joint-ish, so you can kind of get him to, to, to look over like that. You can go up and down like this, and you can kind of go over a little bit, and the whole thing can spin. There is a little bit of paint underneath here. It stops right here by the where the, where the cloaca should be. Now, the arms are a little different on this. There, there's usually a, a joint right here, but there's not. So the arms can only go up and, up and down like that. Same goes to the other arm. Other than that, it's basically the same as the other one. The feet are the same. It does stand up kind of better. It's actually kind. Of, it feels a bit lighter than the than the Savage Strike. And I know we're getting a repaint of this and a Fierce Force Monolophosaurus. Uh, the feet and the nails are not painted, so that's kind of a bummer. So all right, the tail it does swivel like that. It does not move. This it would have been the action feature. Now, as I promised you all, I would attempt to get 
the other ones down, the other four. Let me find them. There's one, there's two. Where's the other one? There, three. And I got one more. Oh, there is a, a different one. It's a Lophosaurus. Sorry, guys. My shelf is kind of cr crowded. All right. Here's the first battle damage. I do keep poster tag in his feet because they're extremely loose. I bought him used. Here's the uh, other one. Now, here's what helps me. Crap. If you put the left leg back a little bit to kind of look like he's running, he will stand up for you. Almost every time. See? It's supposed to be like this. Oop, just balance it. Perfect. Uh, the neck, look, uh, the head is the only thing that's kind of new, and this is the, the, the Dino Rivals one. I think this is my, this one here is my favorite. Now, if I don't do him like that, he will fall over every time. But if I do him like that, he will not fall over. Now, I bet you, like, 90% of you don't have this guy. This guy is extremely rare. He is a battle damage one. I actually bought him in Panama over online and I was really happy to find one and we paid a pretty penny for it but I think it was kind of worth it because I had the rest of the wave here's the Camp Cretaceous one this one was widely released for a decent amount of time this one is pretty gnarly but I do think the, the other repaint is pretty good I do not like the repaint of this one that's coming out probably next year the, uh, this, the repaint of the Savage Strikes is, is okay. I don't mind it because it's supposed to be one we actually see. I would like to see them do more with this mold right here. All right, you guys. That is all for right now. That is a short little review. All right, guys. Peace.